So here I want to show you what it means to do touch-ups on your solder. Here we've got really, really textured seams. We've got a lot of mess going on here. And we have a great big gap here, so it had to get filled in. Then here we have a great big gap and the solder sunk through. And then on the other side you get these big blobs. Some blobs may be bigger than others because it just depends on how large the gaps are. To avoid this, first of all, try to have good craftsmanship where all of your solder seams are nice and thin because you have cut them and ground them closely so that they all fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. That's the first way to make sure that you've got good soldering is to you know avoid gaps. So what do you do? Here, this is just, we, we want to try and make our seams a lot more smooth. So when you look at a smooth seam, you're looking, and we'll see if I can get this in focus here. You're trying to bounce some light off of this so that when you look straight at it and you run your finger across it, it is smooth all the way around. And there's no buildup. There's no big, huge blobs at all the joints here. It should be raised and it should be rounded, but not so rounded that it becomes a blob. So when you solder one side, try and tackle one side at a time. Only put flux on one side at a time. So here, let me put flux on there, and we're gonna try and we're gonna try and fix. But I think I'm gonna do the back side first. Here, you can either melt the, that extra solder off, and here, I'll show you here. What I do is I put a little bit of flux right on the spot. I'm going to be. The cooler your window is, the cooler your area is here, the better. And here's what I do. I actually just put the iron directly underneath it and I try and melt all that off so that you have less to mess with. Then I take it and I try and cool it down a little bit. I just kind of take a little bit of a sponge and I cool it cool the seam, it's better. And then you try and hit that area really quickly. And instead of dragging your iron over the seam, I dab the solder right on top of it. And it still wants to go through. But if you do it quickly, you're just hitting the surface solder. And you're not getting it. You're not going over and over and over. So I've just dabbed it, and then I'm going to try again. I'm, gonna, I'm letting it cool for a little bit, and then I'm going to take a little bit on my iron and dab it, and literally touch and lift up, and touch and lift up. And if it still wants to go through, you let it sit for a sec. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to cool it down a little bit. And I'm going to focus on a different area. On the other side, we have a lot of really textury seams. So while I let this part cool off a little, I'm going to concentrate on these. Here, if you just drag your iron over the seam without actually melting that solder, you're just going to be texturing the solder. And that's not what you want, really. You want a nice, smooth seam. So I'm just going to take it sink the iron in, and then just really quickly go over the seam. Now you want to get to the point where you do this right the first time so that you don't have to do go back over. Because the more you keep going over your solder seams, the more likely it is to run through to the other side and then you have to fix it. As well, you can be breaking down your adhesive. The adhesive doesn't like to be exposed to so much heat that it starts to deteriorate, and it will. And that's not good. Be nice to your adhesive. All right, so this part is a little bit cooler, so I'm gonna try and do this other side here. I've got enough solder here that I can kind of work with it. I'm not gonna add any more solder to it. So I'm gonna dab, I'm gonna dab it. So I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'm going to sink my iron into the surface 
I hold it there until it gives way and I just dab it. And then right here I've got a little bit so I'm going to take a little off of the piece of solder, dab it, dab it, and dab it. So now that side is fixed. And if I get a little too close to the end, sometimes it'll want to flatten it out. So again, got to wait till it cools. And now there's a little too much solder going on there, but I'd rather have a little too much solder and have it be neat than not enough and going through. So now on this side, it's still sinking in a little bit, but I've just done the solder on the first side. So it's really hot. So what to do is to let it sit, walk away, concentrate on a different part of the areas you know that you need to work on. Do something different over in another part of your window. Come back to this spot do what I did just on that other side. You can wipe off the flux from the side we just fixed, reapply on the other side right here at this spot, only keep flux on one side at a time, then do exactly what I did and just dab, add some solder and just dab it. That way, instead of dragging it across and just concentrating the heat, you are just kind of letting it, heating it up, letting it cool for a second heating it up, letting it cool for a second. So we're just trying to hit the surface to fix the surface. And that's touch-ups for you.